Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play the Incredible Adventures of, well, Van Helsing, where we have another dicey part in front of us. A lot of breeders and a couple of spitters. Um, yes, spitters. So that is obviously gonna be very, very intense. Okay, if I can down, take down this breeder, that will obviously help out at first, since I don't know how far the range of the other ones is back at the location where we already, where I already tried to go in and take them down and miserably failed. But that was a good move here. Okay, I was hoping for the breeder veteran there, which did not work out at all. Okay, let's try to, you know, get them a little bit out of here. If I can take down a couple of witches. That obviously might be, well, worth doing since all of the fiery holds they produce obviously ain't that good for us. But let's move back to Bloody Kite here. Okay, Veteran down. The Breeder, I of course meant. These things down too. Okay, so this is what I'm doing wrong so far. Kiting, kiting, kiting. I know, I just learned it again. And that was the key in the first part too. Because the l if you, you know, split them up, obviously less things are firing at you. Um, what does less things firing at you mean? You receive less damage and, well, you survive longer, I guess, right? This library is definitely a treasure trove of knowledge if you are interested in the Chimera. See that one? How to train your Chimera. I suppose it's not a tale of friendship and adventure between an imprisoned Chimera and a young boy. The Shell 4 adventure stories must be in the other corner. Let's see. I found something interesting. The Chimera is a creature of magic. Therefore, its body can be influenced by arcane means. Put magic candles in the summoning ring to modify its abilities. And what would be those new abilities? That's quite a long list. Greater strength, faster movement, thicker hide, bigger resistance to magic, advanced fighting skills. That's it! I want my own Chimera! Now! Oh, you gotta love her. Alright, what have we here? A stack of notes. This must be the draft of a new volume. Let's see. In order to turn the Chimera into a loyal guardian, the prospective master must defeat it in a special circle of combat. If he or she fails, the creature is set free. I don't care about the failed attempts. Please go on. If anyone enters a circle of combat, the spell recognizes the contestant and summons a new Chimera. We must find this circle of combat immediately. I want a Chimera. I will call it Fluffy. As I said, you're gonna love her. Alright, explore. Exploring goes on. And the camera is up there. So the secret laboratory is... Oh my goodness, I do not like what my tired eyes actually see there. A lot of breeders. That is gonna be one tough nut to crack. Just 
So far, not a real trap came up. Well, if you count... Oh my goodness, there I moved wrong. If you count the spiky things out. Okay, moving a little bit back. And then... Okay, that was bad. Okay, nice, I can move. I didn't want to go into the other large group, you know. That could have been a little bit painful. Holy crap me. Okay, we oui. alright. The health portion well I didn't want to use, but I needed not needed maybe, but I wasn't certain if I would be able to sustain the damage we would have received there. Come on, follow me. So this is gonna be another tough nut to crack. Because the fiery ladies obviously, well, as you see, they are really, really dicey. This is basically it, you know? I mean, I, I get it. That is what I um, totally mean. My mistake, I could have tried to level up before a little bit. Maybe quests would have been helped out. But, well. This is where we are at now. And where I gonna need to live with it, right? Okay, do you, did you see that? I mean, they have um, t one spell, which is a cone in front, which deals ton load of fire damage. And once you're inside of that, you or I instantly die. So, the new trick for me is actually doing one hit, then trying to get out of there, doing another hit, and then going out of there using the time to so to say regenerate health well not regenerate but getting the cooldowns set and I might have gone in the wrong direction since I am theoretically cornered Okay. Getting out of there. I don't have any healing potion. So you This is gonna be one hard thing for me. Um realizing when enemies are actually firing a certain spell in order to get out of the way and not get damaged, especially the ranged ones like this one. You have a couple of seconds time to get out of there, but obviously, as you have seen, I am unable to do that many times. Okay, I am quickly gonna actually go to equipment, gonna move a little bit over. I will, this is what I um, am actually doing in one 40k in Crystal Tomato, where I tend to go through stuff like that in the off, because I can just take a little bit more time, let me do the sorting, so we have a little bit more space available if I would do it correctly, like so. Okay, this one too, and this one filling the gaps, give me just one little second. Alright, we are good to go back, I'm actually, well, let's see when the first enemies appear. Alrighty, and into the fight it goes again. We are gonna go on a couple of minutes, guys, and then it is actually gonna be the end of this episode, and we go on here in the next one. I think this is, well, the right thing to do. I just want to take down a couple more enemies, but as you can see, I mean, alright, we are just level 15, right? 
Um, we haven't progressed that far, but we receive a lot of experience points here, and that is actually for me what bloody counts. Alright, one Riga down, that went smoothly and goodly. Nice that we pulled them quite by accident actually. And in the off, I'm actually gonna find out what we can do with the candle. With the candles actually, that I'm not certain because. I think it does not have a direct, I thought maybe like the charms in Diablo. That they, if we have them in inventory, that they would, you know, the attributes would, we would receive the attributes. And for example, more attack speed is amazing. And then the perk for having a higher inventory would even make more sense, right? Okay, both of them gone. And it might seem... No. Yes, I had the... I was under the impression that once... Holy crap. Okay, ah, it's just a bloody breeder. All right. I was under the impression that once we take a guy down who has laid down spells on the ground, that, oh my goodness, that the important part is to actually... What am I doing? Because I didn't... Okay, first of all, I'm gonna open up that door. That once we lay down... Once they lay down a magic spell to the ground, that the important part is to actually, you know, bring them down in order to do, you know, to get the magic spell revoked, so to say, taken off. Similar to, you know, 40k, one 40k in Crusader Martyr, where once you kill someone who has summoned enemies, the enemies are actually be gone, so to say. They just dematerialize. That is absolutely amazing. Yes, I watch my health, but we killed them breeders. That is obviously very, very amazing. Then I can take down. Then I can take care of the um, spirits. This is. I don't want to complain here. I mean, we are maybe in a portion of the game where we are not leveled up or itemed up enough. But I would still say that the every unit in this game we experience by now, which is summoning enemies. I would still say in this game they summon them too fast. But maybe I think in a different way once we progress here a little bit and have overcome current weird stage where we are at. Okay, there's a machine which we will need to use. But guys, we will... Shall we use it now? I am uncertain. We actually are already a little bit over... T let's... I want to... Defeat the Chimera. It is an Eldar again. So the important part is not dying and moving out of the area. I We see us at the Chimera again. So boy. Please, calm down. I mean, in the end, this is not the ideal spot to fight him, right? Ah, okay, I died, okay. Um, I had some weird disconnect before. When we fought the first Chimera, two episodes ago. But you can see at least 
I mean, okay, A, we are fighting him alone. And B, he has no adds, right? No additional enemies. Once I... You get used to that, it is a little tinty bit more easy. Getting out of there. Getting out of the thing coming from the skies. Very, very painful. And maybe we are able to... Okay. I'm getting slowly but steadily bloody used to this game. That is absolutely amazing. It only took a couple of episodes, one or two, you know, to get used to it. simply disappeared before I could finish the fight. We must find it. Fluffy! Where are you? This one is very satisfied with your investigation, Van Helsing. You are the first man in a very long time who found himself a Chimera Guardian. Sadly, he didn't. We failed. I lost my Fluffy. Here I am, without a pony or a dog. You didn't lose the Chimera. It came immediately here to guard its master's home. You will find it in the study. Great. Let's see how it goes when the beast doesn't try to eat me. Fluffy? I can call it Fluffy, right? Alright you guys, and that finally brings us right now to the end of the episode. We take a look at our Guardian in the next one for now you know it i as usual really really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i see ya in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye